What's going on, everyone? Your captain here, Andrew Fole from the Serious Angler Network. As you can see, we are leaving the boat launch. And uh, today, we are practicing for the Canadian Tire Open. I am specifically looking for single, isolated, big fish spots. We're going to be spending a lot of time graphing, maybe catch a couple fish. I haven't decided yet how many I truly want to stick. But um, <clears throat> I hope you guys take along. I hope everyone takes along and I hope everyone enjoys this video. That was a five pounder. All right, let's, let's take a minute here. We're gonna talk about um, a setup we're using today as we're out here practicing the Canadian Tire Open. It is my Elf Angler spy bait rod. I have a 3 8 ounce tungsten weight Ryugi Fog Shot size 2 TC. Now, the best part about this combo is the line. It is cast 12 carrier braid. It's super smooth, able to allow me to cast super far distances. And it's very thin, it's 12 pound test. If you get 300 meters, it's an incredibly smooth braid. I've had it on here almost all year and you can tell that it's hardly faded. It's one of those products I super recommend you go and look up and pick out and purchase because it will change your finesse game tenfold. Spot locked in mega living these fish. This is a big one. Oh, my God.
Oh my god, like what is going on? That's how it's done, baby. Another beautiful four pounder. This will not help us in the KD entire. Come ah, Jesus. Three in a row. Go down to it and then they eat it. See, just call it. And then they eat it. Oh, good night. Oh, that's a good one. Two and a half. Stop it. Fun. Now, one of the worst parts about catching little runt two pound smallmouth is that they make a massive tangle out of everything. As you see here, I am untangling my drop shot rig with the brown back flatworm. Just feisty little dudes. I don't think he's big. He's fighting like he's a five pounder, but I don't think he's that big. No, that's what I thought. Get up here, bud. You're not that big. Wow, that's silly, though. How many can we catch out of this little pile of fish? Thank you. 
fish are just absolutely chewing on. That's one of the prettiest baby smallmouth I've ever seen in my life. Now this is something I have done a lot to at this point. Being a full-time guide on Erie, I find myself fishing a lot of the same stuff over and over again. So when I can get out and practice for a tournament or have a fun day, I find myself idling around for six of the eight hours that I'm out fishing a lot of the time because I'm trying to find stuff that I didn't know about. Yes, I am a full-time guy, but there, it's such a vast lake. There's still so much for me to learn. And it takes a long time to be able to graph and figure out all the intricacies of such a great lake. So, basically what's going on so far, we're at about 12 o'clock. Got about three hours left until I have to get off the water. Um, I virtually have been graphing around a ton, just trying to find isolated structure on a lot of new water that I don't normally fish and see what we can pick up. So far I have lost two really big ones right off the bat. I don't remember if I was recording or not. Got two or three over five in the boat. Wasn't recording for all of them. And we've caught a handful of four pounders, which are the small side of fish of what we want. If we could, on Saturday, if we can get all of the big bites in the boat, I think we'll be sitting okay as long as we can get them to bite. Uh, I checked the one of the areas that I caught them, I found them really good this morning, and at noon, they were still there, but not quite as balled up as they were at 8 a.m. So, if we can get out in the lake Saturday, I think that's going to be my starting spot. I got two spots that could be a starting spot, depending on if they're on this other spot now that it's 12 o'clock. Um, we will take it from there and let's hope that they're here so I have a spot that I can fish first thing and then a spot I can come to. Uh, the spot I am checking now is a spot that... I lost those two giants first thing, so let's see what happens. These are the ones that we don't want during the Canadian Tire. We need them to be about a pound bigger. Well, I hope everyone who watched this enjoyed my practice video here for the Canadian Tire Open, which was held the first weekend of October, Columbus Day weekend here in the United States. Um, <clears throat> it was a really fun tournament. Unfortunately, I forgot my camera in gear at home to record for it. The tournament didn't go exactly how we planned it would Friday. We had a really good practice. We knew it was gonna be river only. 
and we were hoping for 23 to 24 pounds in the river, which would have gotten it done. And during the tournament, unfortunately, we just never got a big bite. Um, we were on a crankbait and a rig pattern in the upper Niagara for very early October, which is a rare bite. The yeah, a rig usually plays, but the crankbait doesn't get going until about now when this video is posting here in November. And we found some fish on a couple late fall spots and they were big. And just unfortunately, the tournament morning conditions changed instead of being cloudy on Friday. It became sunny and we could see them there. We just couldn't get them to bite. And that's the way fishing goes sometimes. It's unfortunate, but that's the reality of this awesome sport that we all pay to play in. So if you do enjoy this content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment of your favorite smallmouth fishery you like to fish. And uh, hit the thumbs up. And as always, I greatly appreciate it. And stay tuned for the next video.